With the Minecraft shaders, you get a completely new view in the world of Minecraft. Shaders are easy to use and your gameplay looks even better. In this tutorial, I show you the installation of the shader mod and the Minecraft shader compactly and simply explained. Hey, I'm Lucas, and this is the new Tutorial Center channel, which show you all the stuff about Minecraft Windows and Technic. If you want to install the shader, you need two things. First, the GLSL shader mod, and the second, the shader pack and optionally Optifine. At first, you need to download the shader mod from the Minecraft forum. The download are hidden in the moment behind this little blue one, but this can be changed after a few time. If you click on the one, you'll be sent to Adfly, where you must wait 5 seconds to skip the advertising and after that you are permitted to download the shader mod. Have you downloaded the shader mod successfully, you are open it with Java and there will open the installation assist. Consider that you must have closed your Minecraft now. And also it's important that you already have the Minecraft version 1.8, so do you must play a short time before you can install the shader. If that will be happened, the Minecraft version appears in the drop down menu where you can choose and install the mod for this version. If you want to install the mod with Optifine, just choose the Optifine profile. After the installation a new player profile has been created. This profile you choose after you start your Minecraft launcher. You can find this anytime in the Minecraft version list. If your Minecraft has been started with your new shader mod, you'll need to download the shader pack. For example, you choose a cool size shader pack. A link to size shader pack are in the description of this video. Also, like the button shaders, which you can find in the Minecraft menu under the point options. In this menu, you found a button where open the folder for your new shader packs. Just move the zip datas in there to install a shader pack. If they appear in the shader menu, you can choose them and your Minecraft gets a completely new look. If you like this video, it will be nice if you give me an abo on my new channel and rate and comment this video. But now, many fun with your new Minecraft shaders.